Tobias. Well, Tanya's here now. And Tanya, it wasn't just Tobias and Sir Tom getting uh, awards. There was also a special mention about Rob Burrow last night. Yeah, there was. It was a year ago on Saturday that Rob faced the media and, and I did that interview with him where he told the world that he had had the diagnosis of, of motor neuron disease. And even then, just a few days after he'd learned about it, he, he talked about being lucky, about the rugby league family pulling around him. And Kevin Sinfield was there that day and, of course, has done that amazing seven marathon in seven days for him but the other thing they talked about then and have done so much on is to raise awareness of motor neuron disease and before I came in I, I checked the running total on Kevin's you know, seven marathons in seven days it's, it's above 2.6 million he was at wow. sports personality as well last night Rob was watching on at home but they also made a lovely lovely film he's just a little bit of it Wow, so emotional. He has been incredible in, in opening up and then the family to tell his story. And Kevin did reveal afterwards that he has another challenge in mind. So watch this space. Oh, the indeed. fundraising continues into the How new year. How do you beat that one, hey? Yeah, he said it won't involve <laughs> running any marathons. Well, let's move on to the football now. And it was a Sunday to forget for Leeds United against Manchester United. But there was better news for many of Yorkshire's football clubs over the weekend. With the best of the action, here's Rob Staten. I could just say, I tried to match a bit of your sparkle because you've been wearing sparkly outfits for weeks. Now, this is, my skirt is about as sparkly as my work wardrobe. <laughs> I was going to say, this is our, as close as we get to a Christmas party. Isn't <laughs> yeah, it? it is, yes. A socially distanced <laughs> sit down yeah. that end of the sofa party. Hey, listen, let's keep with the sparkle.